What's up you guys, it's Levi here. Holy smokers guys, there are way too many of you guys out there reusing the same username and password for each and every application that you're using or website that you're using. You guys are dramatically increasing the chance that you guys will be involved in a terrible, terrible, huge cybersecurity incident. A password manager will dramatically decrease the chance that you guys will have to deal with this major cybersecurity incident. So why should you guys use a password manager other than the fact that Levi tells you guys to do it? Well, let's take a look at the stats here. All right, so according to the 2019 Google survey, 65% of people reuse passwords for multiple applications or all applications and websites. 65%, that's quite a bit, right? All right, not only that, 50% of pe people are using the same work and personal passwords according to a 2018 global security report. That means that half of you guys that are watching this video are using the same password that you're using at work, that you're using personally, and I gotta put my IT security hat on right now and tell you guys to stop doing that. Stop immediately, go ahead and change your password for your work account right now. It's a bad practice. Most organizations, IT departments have in their policies that you shouldn't do that and you're putting your organization at risk by doing that. So change that password now, especially if you're working at the organization that I work for, right? <laughs> All right, now that I'm done with my grumpy Levi for today, um, basically this means that 65% of you guys that are watching this video are probably using the same password for multiple websites, right? Or multiple applications. Well, what's the problem with this? In 2019, there were 4.1 billion, with a B, records and data breaches. So basically, there's 4.1 billion, with a B, records of username and passwords out there that were breached from various websites and applications. And this number is only going to keep growing as time goes on. And considering there's only like what? 8 billion people in the world or something like that and there's probably half of the people in the world that don't even have an internet connection there is a great chance that you have a password that's involved in a data breach that's out there in one of those breach databases and if not multiple passwords that are out there in one of those breach databases well guess what if you're reusing the same password for multiple sites or all of the websites that you're using or applications that you're using, it only takes an attacker to go and, and find your password in that breach database. And guess what? They have access to all of the websites that you're using. Um, and it makes it super easy for them to completely own you and all of your accounts and do whatever the F they want to all of your accounts, right? This is why it is super, super important that you're setting a strong and different password for each and every site and application that you're using so that attacker can't do that. They can't get into everything at once and just wipe all of your accounts out, right? Well, this is the importance of where a password manager comes in. A password manager allows you to set different strong passwords passwords for each and every single website that you're using and only have to remember one master password to get into that password manager instead of having to remember a, pa a strong password for each and every website that you're using. I mean, let's face it, it's already hard enough to learn or to remember one strong password for each and every website. Um, and the organizations that I've worked for in the past, heck, most people can't even remember one easy password um, to get in their computer because they constantly have to have their passwords reset and things like that. So a password manager takes care of all of that so that we don't have to remember all of that and it gives you more free space in your brain so that you only have to remember that master password and remember to smash that like button, right? <laughs> 
Uh, one thing to note when you're using a password manager though is you have to set a strong password for that master password that you're using to get into the password manager um, because if you don't set a strong password then you're giving the hacker or the pirates the keys to the kingdom to get into your password manager and get into all of your accounts anyway right so it's key that you set a very strong password for that password manager and then i recommend you're using that password manager to manage everything that you possibly can each and every single website and application you're setting a different password and strong password through that password manager um, if you're not sure how to set a strong password i have a video on that i'll put a card up above so that you guys can check that out so you guys can set a strong password for that password that master password in the password manager um, I highly recommend that you're using a different password for the email that you're managing that password manager with if you're, you have it tied to an email address so that an attacker can't use that, can't recover that email and then recover your password manager through that and then get all your passwords that way. So use a password manager to manage everything that you can except for that master email account and then uh, obviously there's some things that you can't manage with that password manager like your home computer and your work computer just make sure you're setting difficult passwords for those accounts as well and those of you guys that are wondering what password managers you guys should use i recommend lastpass one password and keypass and i'll put links down below in the description so that you guys can check those out if you guys want to look into those more uh, personally i've used lastpass and one password before i think they're excellent and keypass is a very very good solution that i know other people are using um, the thing to be careful with there is keypass can be stored anywhere um, so you don't have to connect have it connected online which is a great security benefit but if you lose that database for keypass and you don't have it backed up guess what you lost all of your passwords have fun trying to get into your accounts that way so you got to be careful with key pass all right so basically from this video i want you guys to take away from this video that you guys need to be getting a password manager set up as soon as possible and going and changing your passwords on each and every single website that you're using to something different so that you guys don't fall in this situation where an attacker gets one of your passwords and then they can get into all of your accounts and do whatever they want with those accounts. Start changing all those passwords now and get on it now. I had this as one of my top five cybersecurity resolutions for 29 for 2020 jesus april already i should know it's 2020 right um and you can check those out up in the card up above and down in the link down below in the description i highly advise checking that out and seeing the other four things that i talk about because they're pretty important as well and then finally um i know some of you guys are out there are really wanting to know how to use a password manager well uh fortunately i have some screen recording software that's out there that i'm trying to work with and hopefully very very soon I'll have a video of a tutorial on how you guys can use a password manager um, so make sure that if you haven't already that you're hitting the subscribe button hitting that notification bell so that way you guys can get notified when that video comes out it'll be super beneficial for you I can't wait to release that video and help you guys out there um, and then make sure that you're smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this video on YouTube and help protect themselves from the cybersecurity incidents that are out there in the world and learn from this video so I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.